Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the prestigious WBC Silver Belt Heavyweight Championship. And it's all brought to you by World of Boxing Promotions and sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Federation of Russia, President Viktor Agaev, Supervisor Igor Mazarov. The World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman, and supervisor for the WBC is Hussein Huichi. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest, Ian John Lewis, Barry Lindenman, and Len Cosvisto. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee Massimo Baravecchio. And now, the officials are ready, the fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Gaspana. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing red and weighing in officially at 109.1 kilograms. 22 professional fights, 21 victories with 13 knockouts, only one defeat. Originally from Cuba, but now living, training, and fighting out of Cork, Ireland. The challenger, WBC number two ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Mike the Rebel. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, official weight, 105.4 kilograms. This Olympic gold medal champion now has a professional record consisting of 28 victories, including 20 wins by knockout, only one defeat. Achiko Russia, the reigning and defending WBC silver belt heavyweight champion, former heavyweight champion of the world. Ruski Vitez, Alexander, Sasha Korvieke. Well, nobody does it quite like Michael, does it, do they? Remember, Sasha, Mike, remember what I told you in dressing room. No rabbit punch. No low blow, and watch your head, okay? Good luck. I'm sure Michael Buffer wouldn't mind me in passing the information, but this year he'll be celebrating his 71st birthday. He doesn't look bad. So this is the one that the big crowd's been waiting for. Perez's only defeat was against Bryant Jennings, who we saw taking Vladimir Klitschko the distance recently. It was a split decision that he lost there, and he was outworked in the latter stages of the fight. His lack of uh, core fitness may be letting him down. Whoever knows he's a talent, but what Perez turns up, that's, the, that's always the problem. Well, as you say, Barry, if he can't get up for a fight of this magnitude, then maybe it's time to start thinking about doing something else. You would think so, wouldn't you? You know, this is, this is the biggest fight of his career. He was back, you know, the Jennings was a big one, might have got him a world title fight. This, again, will almost definitely get him a world title fight. Nice solid right hand from Pavecki, good, fast hands. to stay upright, but it was a terrific punch. Well, and he's so gone, he's gone. Another right hook from Povetkin, and in the first round, what a performance from Povetkin. I don't think he knows where he is. The Italian referee's taking a close look. He's allowing him to continue. I think this should be stopped. He's going to go again. And it's 
all over. The fight has been stopped in the very first round. Sometimes he does not look spectacular tonight. Well, it doesn't get a great deal more spectacular. <laughs> what am I talking about? That was absolutely sensational. And we were, we were talking about, it depends what Perez turned up. It didn't matter what Perez turned up. That long right hand, first of all, that Perez in trouble. And then finish him off there with that right hook. Just tremendous. I think the referee should have stopped it when he first got up Perez. Didn't know where he was. But what a statement that is. Beating Perez, not maybe a massive statement. Knocking him out in one round. Huge. Well, we... We are aware of your comments out there on social media, and I know the sort of perceived wisdom was that Perez would run out of gas and Povetkin would come home in the second half of the fight. And that's a pretty fair call. I don't think any of us expected that. No, no not at all, not at all. No, no, no one really thought that Povetkin, you know, he can punch, is a, is a really massive concussive puncher, but the technique there, the lovely long right hand from out the distance, this, that's the second shot, that is, that's the one that, that puts him gone. But the, there was a right straight right hand just before that that had him in trouble. Yeah, you want to see the whole of the, the whole of the exchange there. That's what, that's what finished it, but the damage had already been done. Yeah, I think, I, I think the damage already done with the long right hand. No, they're not going to show it, I don't think, Barry. Well, a good shot that is, though. Again, oh. just turned around the body. They just got a little bit spun around together, actually, when they got in close. Perez don't know where he is from there on. What was the referee doing, allowing it to continue? Well, it could he stood up and he have not stumbled. I think that's what it was. But shouldn't you... The referee should have maybe got... I don't want to criticise the referee too much. Should have got Perez to walk towards him and seen he was in, in no state to continue. But what a... Well, that's a statement. That is a statement. You know, it's Deontay tremendous. Wilder, people say he's a little bit on the chinny side. And good as he looked in his last fight, does he really take a shot? If he doesn't take a shot and he gets connected with something like that... Well, I, I, he wouldn't want to fight Pavek in, I don't think. And why would he? And if he did, if that fight goes to first bids, <laughs> they'll get outbid. That'll be in Russia. We've seen, they've seen the power of, of, of the financial backing they have to get Vladimir Klitschko over there. They'll get Wilder over in Russia. And if, no, he put, if he throws a punch like that, it could be good night to Wilder. Well, I don't think people can quite believe what they've just seen. We didn't get opportunity to see just what Perez could deliver in the end. He had no chance to do anything. The end comes at 1 minute 31 seconds of round number one. As referee Massimo Baravecchio calls a halt to the contest. The winner by TKO victory. Still silver belt champion for the WBC. But now the number one ranked heavyweight contender and mandatory challenger for the heavyweight. Championship of the World, Ruski Vitez, Alexander.